So this part basically is for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. If you have any problem with the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you should check this IC. This is the responsible. If you have no network or no signal, you should check these two ICs. So this is basically antennas. This is two antennas. That's why these two compound and near of the RF signal processor. Okay. If you have no service or no signal, you should check either the antennas or the RF processor. This is the part that is responsible for the display in this motherboard. So if you have any problem with this with the display means you have a problem in this circuit. This is the audio codec. If you have any audio problem in the mic in or in the speaker, you should check this IC. If you have, for example, a power on problem, the phone want to turn on or the phone restarts, you should check this IC. This is the NAND IC. If you have any problem with the speaker, no sound, this is the bad IC, of course. Hi everyone, so welcome to the first video in this series. We go in to study Apple devices, cell phones, iPads, laptops, etc. So in this first video, we gonna basically study and I will teach you all about the motherboard for iPhone 8. Why I choose iPhone 8? as a first video because iPhone 8 basically is in the middle. So if you understand the motherboard component of iPhone 8, you can have of course an overview about how motherboard for iPhones are designed and are working. Okay? And of course we gonna see all types of iPhones. Just stay tuned. So please without wasting time let's get started but please don't forget to like the video subscribe and share the video with your friends and other interested people like you so this is basically iphone 8 of course uh, here as you can see we have the motherboard this is the motherboard as you can see and we have the battery over here so let's go step by step so for the motherboard basically when you remove it you will find two sides side a and side b so let's begin with the side a so i'm going to teach you step by step all this component existed in this motherboard this is basically the side a and over here also we have the side b and of course i'm going to teach you its failure correspond to which component for example when this part, for example, as you can see here, this is the part that is responsible for the display in the phone, in this motherboard. So, if you have any problem with this with the display, means you have a problem in this circuit. Basically, in this circuit, as you can see, we have, as you can see, this IC, the first IC that is the responsible for the backlight in this phone if you have the problem with the backlight or the display this is the responsible ic we have also another ic this ic also is basically a secondary ic another example if you have any problem with the audio in your phone this is basically the responsible circuit over here as you can see and especially the responsible ic is this one do you see this ic this is the audio codec when if you have any audio problem in the mic in or in the speaker you should check this ic in the first side inside a as you can see so you have to check of course this ceramic capacitor you, we have here ceramic capacitors around it one of these ceramic capacitors could be the shorted one or the ic itself and of course, as you can see, this IC, this is basic, one of the most IC in this motherboard 
here as you can see if you have a problem with this IC what will be happen if you have a problem so if you have for example a power on problem the phone want to turn on or the phone restarts so any power on problem or message error when you want to power on or your 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 phone reboot and restart you should check basically this IC. This is the NAND IC. And over here, of course, we have the processor, the RF processor. So if you have any problem with those processor or any component around it, including transistor or the same capacitors, so your phone will not receive any RF signal. So no service, no IMEI service. So I told you that this IC is the responsible basically for the audio. This is the audio codec. But this one here, this special IC over here, as you can see, is the responsible for the speaker. If you have any problem with the speaker, no voice, no sound, this is the bad IC, of course. And of course, all the circuit is the circuit for the audio so let's say for example side a for side a for example here we have the network section so for example if you have no network or bad network or no signal means this is the bad ic this is the ic that you should check okay so this is just some examples now let's see each component let's begin with the side a so as I told you before, let's begin for example from here. So basically here we have two main two main ICs as you can see, this one and this one. This is basically the the low band IC and this is the high band IC. So if these two ICs basically are bad means no network, no signal. So if you have no network or no signal you should check these two ICs and also this IC over here okay this one inside B as you can see so here as you can see this part basically is for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth if you have any problem with the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth you should check this IC this is the responsible basically controller for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and for this one as I told you before when you have a problem with this IC or any compound around it you will get no voice in both receiver or speaker so this IC basically as you can see over here if it's failed you will get some errors especially when you want to connect your phone with the computer and as I told you before, this is the audio codec, this is the control IC that is responsible for audio in the entire circuit. If you have any issue with the audio, you should check, of course, this IC and the serum capacitors around it. This one, basically, this is the gravity sense and gel. So if it is failed, you will get basically a failure and errors about gravity sense and gel. So this small IC basically here is one of the most important IC here. This is the USB charging control IC. If this one is damaged or if you get uh, a failures and some errors with the charging means you should check this IC. So for this IC basically also this IC can cause a, a bad reboot and restart of phone. So this also is for power on. And over here we have a crystal okay basically for synchronization. So this one as I told you before is for power on and boot operations and this one this is the RF processor okay so this is basically two processors. this is RF processor 
So, and these two, as you can see here, this is basically antennas. This is two antennas. That's why these two compound a near of the RF signal processor. Okay. So, if those antennas also is failed, so you can get no signal and no service. So, if you have no service or no signal, you should check either the antennas or the RF processor. So this IC basically is for wireless, okay? And over here we have the compound around it. You will always find ceramic capacitors because all these ICs basically need a very accurate and exact voltage. That's why we have a lot of capacitors in order to filter the voltage. So we have here another IC for charging over here, okay? And this one basically is for vibration. So for vibration, if for example, this IC, you have a problem with the vibration, you should check this IC over here. And as we have seen before, this part basically is for backlight and display. So if damage it, no backlight, no displays. And those three ICs are controllers. And over here we have basically ceramic capacitors for basically to filter the voltage and the current. Okay, so this is it guys. I hope that you understand a little bit about side A. So in the next video, we gonna see the side B. Those also, we have a lot of components. We gonna see all this. Okay, and of course, I'm going to give you a summarize between this about this side and this side in the end of the second video in order to understand clearly so thank you very much i appreciate your attention please if you find that this video is a useful video please like the video subscribe and hit the bell icon because i can only help you if you are subscribed and please for anyone who want to join in my patreon page you are very welcome basically this pdf file i will put it in my patreon page with the explanation of every i see here i will put each i see and the explanation here below it so it's i see with its explanation and also the same for the side b you will find of course this file in my patreon page with clear explanation so thank you very much and see you in the part two in the next video with the side b of course thank you very much and stay tuned